Welcome to our first ever Python tip. And we're going to be doing an awesome package that I love. It's called Pandas Profiling. And we're going to make this report here that allows us to quickly inspect our data and see warnings and all sorts of things about our, our data. We can inspect different variables and get information about those variables like the histogram, statistics, common values. And this is really easy and it's all powered by this package called Pandas Profiling. So this is what we're going to make today. To get started though, what you need to do is you need to get access to our GitHub repo and that's going to be through signing up for our weekly Python tips newsletter. I have a link here. It's also in the video notes and uh, this will get you access to all the code as we build code throughout this uh, lesson. Um, and that, that'll allow us to allow you to download all of this code here and get access to, to the report and the file that we're going to be working with today. Um, if you want to do GitHub, uh, that's what we're going to be using. What you'll do is you'll just do a git pull. And uh, right now I'm currently synced up and you'll just click this button down here and that'll pull down the report. So once you have it set up, uh, you'll set up the free Python tips and it'll allow you to connect up to it. So I'm going to be working out of the files here. A few housekeeping items. Um, I do have some settings. These are my settings that I'm using here. Uh, send uh, selection to uh, Jupyter or to Interactive Window True. And uh, the no notebook uh, file root is my workspace folder. Uh, you'll probably want to change your Python path to whatever Python path that you use. Okay. Um, to get started here, what we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to X out of this for now. And we're going to go down through and uh, load in our libraries first and our data. So I'm going to load a couple of different libraries here. Uh, I'm just going to hit shift and enter, and that's going to send this to my interactive console. Uh, and this is basically a Jupyter notebook that's running. Um, so I've just loaded in pandas, pandas profiling as PF, pandas as PD. And then I'm also going to do a bonus with plot nine because I think, think this is really important. Um, so I'm going to load in these functions from plot nine, ggplot, AES, geom point. And this is going to help us make a really cool bonus visualization. All right, next, uh, what I'm doing is I'm loading in a data set. So this is going to be the MPG data set. Um, I'm loading in MPG DF. Um, it's located at this uh, URL. And this gives us access to a uh, large data set. Um, well, it's 398 rows by nine columns. And what this is, is the miles per gallon for a bunch of different vehicles uh, and some different attributes. So things like cylinders, displacement, horsepower, and so on. And we can relate that to the fuel economy or the MPG. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is when I get this data set, I'm going to run pandas profiling on it. So from PF, which, which we loaded up here, uh, PF.profile report, I'm just going to run it on my MPG. So, um, and I'm going to save it as report. Uh, when I do that, um, what it does is it makes kind of a, a promise. And then as soon as I run this uh, report in the browser, what it's going to do is it's going to start calculating um, all of the report attributes and building that report for me. Um, so it takes a minute to run. Once it's done, we get a nice report and it's got all sorts of different sections an overview section, variables, interactions, correlations, and so on. So um, we'll just check out a few of these. The, um, the, the cool thing is uh, right here at the top, they have the overview. It gives you some warnings. Uh, so these are things that you might want to inspect. We've got a high cardinality warning, high correlation warning, missing values. So horsepower has some missing values. Uh, and then name is uniformly distributed. Uh, and uh, some information about when it was reproduced and uh, just overall information. Um, then what you would go into is the specific variables. So MPG, if we uh, remember in our data frame, uh, MPG is the first variable or the first feature. So that's uh, the first variable that's listed here. Gives us the number of distinct values, percent missing. Um, we can go down here and toggle on details. And this gives us access to all sorts of extra information. So things like the histogram, the co most common values, any extreme values. So for example, some of them are 13. Um, those are extreme values. And, uh, and yeah, so we, we have access to all that information. So that's a numeric feature. Um, we have cylinders, and this is actually a categorical feature. 
So it's got high correlation. Uh, and if you hover over it, it's got high correlation with the field displacement. Um, so it gives you that information right away. You can toggle on the details. We can see which features have the most, um, the most frequency. So uh, it looks like four cylinders is the most frequent with 204. Eight cylinders has 103, six has 84. And then we have a couple three and five cylinders that are just very few values. Um, so that's cool. That's giving us a lot of information. And I encourage you to explore more. I'm going to actually quickly go to um, some of the other sections that you might be interested in. Uh, like, for example, um, the correlations section. We get a correlation heat map. Uh, and you have different types of correlations. You can toggle on the correlation description. And that will give you some more information down here about each of these different types. And you can see which features are correlated. So cylinder is correlated to displacement and horsepower and weight. Um, there's a negative correlation with MPG. So these are all uh, correlated with each other. So you can see cylinder has a positive correlation with displacement. Cylinders has a positive correlation with horsepower. Cylinders has a negative correlation with MPG. That's how you would read that. Uh, we have missing values. So you can see which features have missing values. If you want a dendrogram, um, you can see that there's a couple of features here that have uh, some missing value. Horsepower has two, looks like two, two missing values. Um, and then some samples of the data set. So that is the amazing power capabilities. Um, if you want to save this report, you can run this line of code here and that'll save this report. Um, and I, I actually, um, if it, you right click and if you have the browser preview extension from VS Code, you can actually open this in a browser preview and this will open up the HTML. Um, here, let me do that one more time. Open in browser preview and then there it goes. Okay, so um, we have uh, the report now saved. And if you want to explore, I want to show you how to do a bonus plot. So um, the exploration is great, but eventually you're going to want to try and get some insights out of your data set. So if I take my um, data set, which uh, looks like this here, uh, and I may want to explore the relationship between horsepower and MPG, because I saw up here in my, in my correlation that there was a negative correlation between um, horsepower and MPG. So I may want to explore that relationship. How might I do that? Well, you need to learn how to visualize. And this is where tools like plot nine come become very handy. So I'm going to just run this and actually I'm going to run it without the theme first. Um, so we're going to run these lines of code and I'll just hit shift and enter. And this is a visualization where we can explain the relationship between horsepower and MPG. So how did I know to look at these? Well, remember, I had that uh, that profile report and that told me that these two were related. And then um, it, I teach in my newest Python course. Uh, it's called Python for Data Science Automation. I teach how to explore features. Uh, and this is what's called a scatter plot. So we're building a scatter plot with a smoother that's been added in. And I'm using a low S smoother with a span of 0 0.8. Um, and then as an extra bonus, uh, there's the theme XKCD if you want to make it cartoon-like. And I don't recommend putting this into a business report, but this is kind of fun. Um, and I just want to show off some of the power of different themes that you have access to uh, through Plot9. But um, if you're going with a report, you probably want to leave that one out and, and do something like this. Uh, if you want to learn more about Python for data science, if you want to learn how to build functions, how to do automations, how to do all sorts of important things that businesses need, then check out my course here. If you follow the link, um, it'll send you right to my latest Python for data science automation course. It's revolutionary and it's really amazing. It will help you automate business processes using Python. All right. I'll see you next time.